respuesta fue a propósito. Señor, se calla, se calla. No, en no. esta corte usted no va a insultar a nadie. La única que tiene el derecho a hacer eso soy yo. ¿Quiere a los hijos? ¿Usted no, quiere que los niños? Si se quiere divorciar, que se la, la puerta está ¿Y qué tal los niños? La ¿Con quién van a vivir los niños? niños no se los lleva. Oh, pero ¿por, ¿por qué no? no? Ya comienza una nueva sesión de la Corte de Familia con la juez Cristina Pérez. Live from Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama, it is the Mr. Uh, Mr. Stop Motion 88-500. This is the last race before the final season finale of Zen Joltis, and the points just couldn't get any tighter than this, so... Gregory Coleman has the lead, but will it hold on over Max Skinner and other competitors? We will see what happens here at this classic Talladega Super Speedway to set up the field for the MLP Cup Series season finale in San Joltis. Oh boy, is it going to be exciting. So, now we go to Talladega. Starting on the pole today, it is the 39 of John McNamara on the outside to the 93 of Jacob Lawler. Third is the 48 of William Duncan. Fourth is the 7 of Doug S. Walker. Fifth is the 47 Bob Fergus. And sixth is 31 Gene Sanford. Seventh is the 24 Max Skinner. Eighth is the 1 of Alex Jones. Ninth is the 83 Billy Hamilton rounding out the top 10, the 78 of DJ Kirker. And if you were wondering who the points leader is starting in, he is starting in Gregory Coleman starting 31st. He's got to work his way up to the front. Now without further ado, let's hear those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! And I do apologize for the bit of the loading of the lag and loading time or something. And now cars are rolling. John McNamara will lead the field for 25 laps of old Talladega action. This is the la like I said, the last race before the season finale at Zen Joltis, so every move counts for these drivers competing for the title. And now the pace car will be out soon, and this is, the, by the way, this is the revamped, reloaded version of Talladega, so I, we expect to see some three to four wide racing, if not more. Anyway, here we go. Pace car is out. John McNamara will lead the, us to the stripe, as the stripe is at the end of the turn. And I think I hear the crowd roaring, ro roaring. They want these cars to start. They want racing now, and they will get it now. Green flag is out, we're underway at Talladega. At the Dega. Where three to four wide racing rules. You see here, as we already have that kind of racing. Oh, Gregory Coleman's on the apron. He's dead last. And the points leader is near the bottom. He went on the apron, and it cost him. Gonna lose spot. I don't know if he's gonna lose spots. And there's their wreck. And all laugh man since around Charles Sanford's hit. There's Sawyer Black, Austin Morello. And the caution's out. And uh-oh, it's gonna be tight for the stripe. They're still at it. And then William Duncan is around. And the other is wrecked out as well in the fact stretch too. And the caution is out and we continue wrecking. And McNamara will lead to the stripe. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, we got a lot of showing you to do. Oh boy. Wow, what a turn of events on that turn. <laughs> my goodness. So let's look at the first wreck, the one that brought us the caution. There's the 51 getting clipped by the 29, the 33 and the 88 are involved as well. Sawyer Black is held up by the 88, Brad Johnson's held up. This is, won't be good for his point standing as he's third in the points and this is not going to help him at all. Then we had another wreck in the back. Just when you thought it was all over, we had another wreck at the final turn. William Duncan bumps Bob Fergus and Fergus gets clipped by Hamilton and Pichu. Max Skinner is hit, and that's going to be a really tough break for Max Skinner. 
He was really looking forward to making his comeback to a second straight title, but this might have just ruined it. And there's the 14 spinning, and we had the big one in the final turn. Wow, and a stunning turn of events. And yet we had another wreck in the back. We, they just could not stop wrecking in the fun, even after the start finish line they couldn't stop wrecking. Bob Fergus once again clips another driver. Luke Walker spins around and there's Alex Jones taking damage and you see the back of the field. It's just messed up and there's the points leader Gregory Coleman involved so wow the biggest contenders of the points here is wrecked out. There's Maxwell Vatty and Madison Denhart wrecked. And there's Seth Cole clipping Leo Walker. Wow. And Kyle Sprint smoking, Coleman smoking. Oh, Jack Richards is, st is stuck. Bianca Roberts got a piece. Mason Wood. Oh my gosh. What a stunning turn of events. And this could be good news for John McNamara. He might be competing for a title now now that Greg Coleman has wrecked out and no pit stop no one is taking pit stops well some people are the ones that suffered damage from the wrecks are taking pit stops but those leaders are staying out a ton of drivers wrecked wrecked and this could already be a wreck fest before this race even got started and boy what a way to decide our champion and we have only six drivers that stayed out. The top six stayed out. They were lucky. We'll get a full rundown on who retired from the race because of those big three wrecks around Talladega. Boy, oh boy, was it a really, really, really big wreck fest here. Well, there are drivers that survived from this race, but the drivers in the back, they're going to have uh, their long shots to win now. There might be more retired, so we'll just wait and see an update and just pause into the green flag stripe. They will get green next time by, so. Yeah, they will get green next time by, so. David Rochester, Pichu, Jacob Lawler, Max Skinner, Sawyer Blacks, Olga Olgo, Seth Cole, Jack Richards, Gene Sanford, Kyle Sprint. Greg Coleman, Bob Burgess, Madison Denhart, Sino Simonetta have all retired of the wrecks. So the points leader is going to take another big hit in, this, in his lead with just two races left. Good news, Max Skinner wrecks. Bad news, he's going to take a big dip in points. In fact, if, it's, if John McNamara holds off, he might just lose the lead at this race. Lose the points lead. Anyway, we'll just have to wait and see the results here at Talladega. We still got 20 laps to go. Green is out. Again. And John McNamara is leading. Jordan Davis chose to go on the outside. and That might just cost him there. And the 42 of Jake Bassinger, now they're going three wide for third. They have to be careful now because they don't want to cause another series of wrecks that happened in the first lap. Now there's pretty much a top 10 race and James Vanny gets a piece of the 17, 38, and 32 are hit. There's the 16 spinning. 33 is hit again. And Team Pony's flipping. Wow. Caution is out. Alex Jones is smoking. And Alex Jones, he's smoking on the apron. And John McNamara will lead again to the strike. Boy, oh boy, was that wild. Again. Just when you thought it was safe here, it just... Talladega just makes some twists and turns again. The big one has struck again here at Talladega. Let's see the second wreck. And here's where it all started. Team Pony gets clip, clips of 18 of Vatty. Then spins around. Lindsey Johnson is hit as well. The others avoid it easily, but not Alex Jones. He gets a clip piecing, a piece of that. Then the 17 is hit. 33 is hit. 16 is hit. 88 is hit. 
And there's T Pony flipping. And there's Richard Johnson hit. How did Richard Johnson get involved? Oh, he got hit. Oh, he got hit by um, Jordan Davis. Boom! Jordan Davis with a hit. And he goes flying all over. And he jumps over Lindsey Johnson. That was a hard wreck for Richard Johnson. And he's upside down. And he has to be magically sent to the pits. Oh, boy. And there's Alex Jones getting a piece from the wreck. And he's going to the pits because he had suffered damage from that wreck. And John McNamara leads to the stripe. Don't know who... Yeah, McNamara will be the leader again, but will he pit again? And they have decided to pit. The leaders have now decided they'll take... They'll pit. They're not going to risk. They're not going to take chances. And they're going to pit. None of these drivers are taking any chances, and they're going to pit. And you see virtually almost everybody... I think everybody has pitted. So we'll go to the pit road one camera and see who is going to be the leader heading out of the pits. Because whoever is the leader out of the pits is likely going to be the leader in the race. You see McNamara is already in the pits and let's see who gets out first. I think it's going to be a tight race and Jake Baskinger got out first. And it was Jake Baskinger by inches getting out first. That's a surprise. Jake Basinger got out first. And John McNamara, the leader to the strike, will be fifth. Oh man, uh, you'd think that with the first pitch though, there would be an advantage for McNamara, but apparently, well, it wasn't, not this, uh, not this, not the case here. And we have only about eight, yeah, we have only 18 drivers left in the field. And the ones recently retired? Jordan Davis, James Vatty, Team Pony, Lindsey Johnson, Alex Jones, Bianca Roberts, Sky Commons, Austin Ogo, Austin Morello, and Richard Johnson. So we only have 18 drivers on the lead lap. Yeah, correct. I was right. I thought Sanford would be a lap down, but he is on the lead lap as well. So 18 drivers left, and we have about 16 laps to go. When we hit the stripe again, there'll be 15 laps to go. We haven't had a single green flag run all day. We've had one green flag run, then a caution. And now Baskinger will lead us to the stripe for the green again after pitch strategy puts him up on the, in the lead. The green is out again here at Talladega. And Baskinger already has a win in the MLP Cup Series. He's looking to get his second one of the season. It's the last chance for him. It's the last chance. No, not no. It's not the last chance. The last chance comes at Zenjoltis. I think we might just have another caution. No, we didn't. Now they're three wide for the lead. Jake Baskinger and now Chris Harley and now Douglas Walker spun in the sand and he spins on himself and the caution is out. Oh, DJ Kruger had a good run on the top. He's on the, well, on the high side, he's actually have a good run. And he does get a good run. And with the help of John McNamara, if he can hold off Baskinger, he will lead to the stripe. And he will. What a move by DJ Kruger. Wait a minute. Is the caution out? No, the caution is not out. The caution didn't come out. What happened with Doug S. Walker? I have no idea how it did not cause a caution. Yeah, that spin should have caused a caution. So here's what happened. Justin Perry and Dylan Young, they got together. And there's Doug S. Walker. And Doug S. Walker was dumped, literally, on that back stretch. Spins out and hits the wall. And, yet how, and that was a full spin, so it should have brought out the caution, but it didn't. Wow. Lucky break for the other drivers competing against DJ Kirker as they really didn't want to caution to um, ruin, ruin their momentum. Now Kirker's going to have to deal with these other drivers for the lead. Now he knows that he now he knows that the caution has not come out and it's still green. 
Now he's got to hold off John McNamara. And you see smoke from there? You see smoke from the same turn that Doug S. Walker spun in. Spun. Dylan Young is in the pits for damage. And he will be a lap down. And the 78 has, still has the lead, but Jake Baskinger, look at him going on the bottom. Will he make that move on the bottom for the lead? Oh, he's got a good run on the bottom, but leading to the stripe, it's going to be DJ Kirker. But Baskinger will take the next lap. And the 42 is now on the bottom there, McNamara, and now they're close three wide. They're so close to each other, we just might see a wreck with the leaders. No, we will not. They're still three wide, though. Oh, boy, have you ever seen racing like this? And the ones on the high side somehow got the advantage. But Kirker's going to be left in the dust. And now they're still bottom side by side racing. Going around trying to find the most available room. And now McNamara will lead to the stripe. He clears them all. McNamara leads to the stripe. The 42 Jake Baskinger is now going to battle second with Chris Harley. And Luke Walker is back in contention. Look at Luke Walker coming back in contention. I thought he was involved in one of those wrecks, but I guess he avoided them. Really, I think he avoided them, and, well, he didn't suffer enough damage to slow him down, so he's now a competitor for the lead. TA2 has not had some success in the series in Season 2. The only high point was, um, unexpectedly a second in Meadowlands, which, uh, still don't know how they got there, but, <laughs> yeah. And the 39 still leads with 11 laps to go. And Luke Walker is still well on the bottom. Leia's still in the race. But she's really, she's got a long, it's a long shot for her, for Leia to make a comeback. Now Luke Walker's looking on the bottom. And will he get that bottom line? And he will probably not. Or will he? He will not. He's blocked by the top two drivers. And John McNamara is still leading with Jake Passenger on the bottom. There'll be ten laps to go when they hit the stripe. Ten to go here at Talladega to decide. Yeah, ten laps to go to decide our winner. And McNamara is still holding on to the lead. Didn't let that little pit stop mistake slow him down. Now Baskinger on the bottom. You see Doug S. Walker is a lap down back there. Slow car. And they will get past him easily. But now Jake Baskinger looks to take advantage. No, he will not. Damn it, I'm so yawning today. Damn. Well, now we got about eight lap, nine lap, wait, nine laps to go. Yes. Nine to go here at Talladega, and John McNamara still has the lead. And Chris Harley tried to contest him for the third. Now Chris Harley, and now it's Luke Walker and Chris Harley are competing for third. There's Brad Johnson. He's back in the game, surprisingly. To everyone's surprise, he's back in the game. He suffered damage from the wreck earlier. Now he also is back in the game. Could be good news for him in the point since Greg Coleman has retired from the race. Boy, oh boy, would this be an interesting last race of the season as Zen Joltis if Brad Johnson can hang on to a top five finish. They will now be... I think eight laps to go. Eight laps to go. Yep. Still green so far, surprisingly, after we had a wreck fest earlier. First half of the race was a wreck fest, and the second half is now a completely different story. John McNamara holding off Jake Baskinger, and he's still leading. 
Baskinger is trying to find the right opportunity to make his move. It's not happening now, but it might happen a few laps from now if there's no caution coming out. Luke Walker back in contention here at third again. John Burton's now at fourth, and Chris Harley has moved up to fifth. And now Luke Walker's going for second. First big change in the top three since the last caution. And Luke Walker has gone second, but it's going to take a miracle for him and to make his comeback on John McNamara. McNamara has been dominating since the first lap. And when he won the pole, and he's been dominant since thanks to the cautions. Now he hopes that a caution would help him win this race. And now John Burns going for second. As we have only virtually about the six drivers left, and there's the 56 losing grip on the top five. He was a contender before, now he's not. But he's looking to make a miracle here. If these guys pit, if they pit again, if well, if they pit again, we'll see. Now they're three wide for second, and DJ Kirker has the bottom line. Six laps to go, though, for John McNamara. Is he's easily pulling away because of the three-car three car pack in for second. DJ Kirker has the advantage of bottom line. Don Burton and Luke and Chris Harley and Luke Walker have drafting partners. Oh, and now Luke Walker's hit the wall. He scrapes the wall with damage with Chris Harley. And that's going to probably end his chance of victory. And that probably will end his victory chances here. And Brad Johnson's in fifth. What a shocker. Five laps to go when they hit the stripe and the next flag might end the race. And John McNamara is hoping for that result. And now DJ Kirker's on the bottom going for the lead. And it looks like it came too, early, too late. And Kirker has the lead, but they have a lap card Dylan Young to deal with. Now Baskinger is trying to make his move. He looks like he's getting losing his grip or something. Now they're heading to Dylan Young. And they're going to pass him easily. So Dylan Young was not a factor in the lead. But DJ Kirker allows that to pull away. And DJ Kirker is pulling away, but you never know what happens at Talladega, so he shouldn't be too happy with that yet. Four to go here at Talladega, and this means that the next flag will end the race. Pretty much a four-car battle for the win. And John McNamara is trying to get second away, and he's trying to catch up to DJ Kirker. Now the 23 is holding up the other driver, Chris Harley especially. Now Brad Johnson's clear for fifth. Brad Johnson might be clear in the clear for the fifth spot. A top five finish would help him in the points. He's third, by the way. And I think McNamara might be second in the points. So you know what this might mean? If he gets this win, he might just get the points lead at the end of the race. Three to go. We have more lap cars in traffic with Dylan Young and Charles Sanford. We'll see how they play a factor in the turn. Three to go as John McNamara has already taken the lead. And they held up John Mc and it's held up the 42 and it's going to be good news for John McNamara. Basketers below and he's on the apron. Oh, Basketers loose and he just cannot avoid that wreck. Charles Sanford is now trying to hold up, and now he holds up 39. He's going to allow Baskinger for the lead. And I thought Baskinger was going to spin in the apron, but he gets the lead away. What a shocker. And I knew the lap traffic would interfere with the lead. Who knew? And now there's two laps to go, and these guys have two laps to catch up to Jake Baskinger. And John McNamara might have ended his chances there because of the lap traffic. Two to go, though. They're really gaining up on the 42. This is going to get a wild finish. And now they've all caught up. Wow, that was quick. I don't think any lap, car lap cars are in traffic now. Next one is all off Manson, though. They might catch up quick. 
We will have to wait and see. Baskinger is now on the lead. 39 is on the bump. He's drafting him. He's now in second. McNamara has been dominant for the entire race, but will he lead the final lap? Now he's on the high side. I don't know if that's a good idea. That might just end his chances there. White flag is out for Jake Baskinger. One to go at Talladega. And John Byrne is now in second. He won the last race at South Boston. He's looking to go back to back. Max Skinner already did it before. Can John Burton do it? Oh, and now Burton is 78. They get loose, and he saves it. And he's still in contention. John Burton on the bumper. Can he make his move? He will make his move. He's on the bottom of Baskinger. And he does make the move. Last coming up, final turn. Baskinger and John Burton. And Burton might have cleared him. And that'll do it. Now it's going to be a close, wait a minute, close finish, no it will not be, and DJ Kirk and the 9 of John Burton will go back to back here in the OP Cup Series. And who got second? Oh, it was the 42 of Jake Baskinger got second, it was a close finish for second. But John Burton, he won the last race at South Boston. And now he's won this race. He's gone back to back. So two drivers in four races have gone back to back. Max Skinner, who won, who ended his winless streak at McKinley and then won at Boston. And, and now John Byrne has gone back to back at South Boston. And now Talladega. And I thought John McNamara, there was like a little bit of commotion back there. They saved it though. <laughs> wow. John Burton, wow, what a race. And I, we thought that John McNamara was going to dominate this race, but it just wasn't to be here. And wow, was it a close finish for second between Baskinger and Kirker? It was decided by one one thousandth of a second. One one thousandth of a second was a difference between second and third. Imagine if it was that race itself. Oh boy, wow, what a race. But John Byrne hangs on. And for the rest of the field will be 5th, Brad Johnson, 6th, Chris Harley, 7th, Luke Walker, 8th, Maxwell Vatty, 9th, William Duncan, 10th, Leia Walker. And the rest have wrecked out. Wow. Anyway, congratulations, John Burton, going back to back. And boy, oh boy, has the points have changed from last race. Gregory Coleman can breathe easy, can breathe a sigh of relief as he is still the points leader. By t is still the points lead, as he's still the points leader. And now there's contention of victory. Dylan Young is now in second. He's behind 26 points behind the 20. He has yet to win in the MLP Cup Series. But if he finishes well and survives Zenjoltis. And, Bre and Greg Coleman doesn't, then Dylan Young could still win without getting a victory. So would Brad Johnson. If Brad Johnson does well and finishes around the top 5 or top 10, and Gregory Coleman doesn't finish well, then he could be in contention of the title. And so would Team Pony. Even with a 77 point lead, it's still possible for the 32 to come back, make its comeback. John Byrne is fifth with those two victories back to back. That'll make him a cha possible championship contender. He has to be very, he has to be perfect in this next race at Zenjoltis to win. And John McNamara, it's a long shot for him as he's sixth with 97 points back of Coleman. He is sixth, but it is a long shot for McNamara to make his move. And the one seventh and below might be out of the championship hopes. Bob Fergus is seventh, Cole is eighth. Sanford, then the Sanfords are 9th and 10th. They might be out of contentions, but they would race for the win for one more victory. And you'll see the rest of the point standings I have yet, and please note, I did not, I have yet to add the two 88 and 24 and 14 points together with their multiple paint schemes, so they could be championship contenders, and I might not even know about. So that'll be even more interesting. That's what makes things even more interesting, as it could be decided on this one race. 
And that's where the next race will be, the, la the Season 2 finale at Zen Joltis. The MLP World Championship presented by The Hub. And, uh, in and usually, I usually only allow the top 10 in points to advance. The others have to race via qualifier and for a certain number of spots. But not this time. Instead, all 42 drivers will be competing for this final season finale race. Because the points have been very close th throughout, throughout the entire season, all 42 drivers will race at Zen Joltis, so everyone has a chance to catch it, to, um, show off their, to, uh, show off their moment for one last time, so. Hope you guys tune in, Zen Joltis, the next race, the season finale of the MLP World Championship presented by The Hub. It is an intense battle. Will Gregory Coleman hold off Dylan Young for the title, or will another driver take the MLP championship or will Max Skinner repeat as champion of season one we will see and just to let you know that the spots of the NR 2003 10th anniversary tour have already been filled so I will have an info video for that uh, info on what is it going to be about soon and I'll have the drivers list there in that video vid soon so just to let you know, all races, all 36 races of that of of that tour will be on the account second. It's about it's why not because it's the 10th anniversary of NR 2003 and it should be on a big global channel like the account second. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not sure when the Pichu and Pony Palo the Pokemon and Pony Palooza will be held will be held. I know it'll be in Zen Joltis. It will definitely be in Zen Joltis for the second running. But I'm not sure when it will be held. I will list the drivers and hopefully I will set up a good format for everyone to enjoy. Hope everyone will get involved in this. Everyone who is in the PCS and the MLP series, series is. Hopefully they will be involved somewhat. But I will still, I'm still working on that. So, so stay tuned for an update video of the uh, Peach Pokemon Pony Palooza soon. So. Anyway, next race, the Zen Joltis season finale, and it's going to be intense. 20 laps of intensity. Enough said. So, congratulations on John Burton getting back-to-back -back wins, following Max Skinner's footsteps, and boy has this been interesting last five races, so. Stay tuned for Zen Joltis next time, and we will see you all later.